Hi guys, not quite sure what the acoustics will be like here. I'm in my conservatory with the window open. Had a query from Joshua Hauser. It's a fairly common question. What can I use instead of hot glue? Because you'll notice I use hot glue in all my projects or virtually all my projects. Um, I like hot glue. It's quick, simple and it doesn't give off any noxious fumes. But today I shall try using some all-purpose adhesive or contact he adhesive I think it's called. Um, it's the sort of stuff you have to put a layer on both surfaces, let it dry and then stick it together. And it tends to give off fumes so I've got the window open in the conservatory. Um, I've got eight milk bottle tops, four CDs, two nice big drinking straws, two barbecue skewers or bamboo skewers, a piece of cardboard that I've already cut to shape so I won't be needing my knife because that work's already done. Might need some parcel tape to strengthen it because I'm not sure how good that glue will be. A pair of scissors, a pointy thing, braddle is what I call it, a paper clip that I've already bent to shape, some rubber bands that I've joined together already, and a little cable tie. So, first thing we need to try and do is try to glue these to there. So what you have to do is put a layer of this glue on first, it then has to dry and then you put it together. Let's see if I can find the instructions. Apply thin layer to one surface, join surfaces together. To stick non-absorbent surfaces, which is what these are, Apply thin layer to each surface, leave for a while, then apply another layer and press together. So it's a lot more work than using hot glue, but we'll go for it. So I need to apply a layer. You've got to apply it to both surfaces, so what I do is apply it to what one, put it on the other one, and then take it away again. I need to do that with all of these. So I say, <coughs> apply thin layer to each surface, leave for a while, then apply another thin layer and press together. Not sure how mm, a little while is. Guess that's long enough.
Right, I'm going to give that about 10 minutes or so, and then I'll come back and do the other side. To save a bit of time, I'll get on and do this as well. So I need to glue a tube onto there, and a tube onto the back. And then, and that's when the glue's set, I shall cut the middle out. So, with the instructions again. Yeah, this is this is one side's non-absorbent and the other is absorbent. So I guess I'm gonna have to put glue on here. Before I forget, I need to stick that in there. I can find the holes in the. There we go. Because that's where I'm going to attach the rubber band in a minute. And we need that to go behind the tube. that a good layer and I'm going to let that dry a bit first. I'll do the same at the other end. Need that to soak in a bit. Right then, let's have a look. Seems to be on there. So we'll do the other side the same way. as well. wouldn't hurt to reinforce these with the parcel tape. But for the purpose of the exercise I shall just do it like this. I'll wait for that to dry before I fiddle with the other end now. few minutes. Right, back again, giving that a few minutes to dry. Oh 
old solar rockers are going well in the backward background. It's like a clock shop in here. I quite like it. I find it quite relaxing. If I was using hot glue, this car would be up and running by now. It doesn't feel very strong to me. It might be hot glue in that. But <coughs> I think we might be using the parcel tape to strengthen it. Right, let's come back again in a few minutes. Right, had a bit of delay there because had some visitors. So, where were we up to? Well, those seem to have stuck in place. So we need to cut the back here. Get to the axle. Need to shorten these a bit as well. Fine. Make some holes in here. Where's my telephone? Right, where was I? Uh, just push the hole through that one. Yep, that'll do. Okay, same for the front.
Got a little cable tie there. I'll just put on the back here. So I've got something to hook the rubber band onto. Rubber band onto the bit of paper clip that I put in there earlier. Hook it on there, wind it up. And away we go. So we've got to go and test run that in the kitchen. Test run time. Rubber band on that little hook. Wind it up. Make sure the rubber band doesn't foul either side. That should do. And away we go. Success. This time we'll try and follow it. There we go. Better do a summary. So, summary time. What have we got? We've got a rubber powered car here that we've made without using hot glue. Usual thing, four CDs, eight bottle tops, two barbecue skewers, two nice large drinking straws for the axles to go through, a little bit of a bent paper clip there at the front, the rubber band to connect to and a cardboard chassis and a cable tie just wrapped around the back axle there to give us something to hook the rubber band onto and that's it job done no hot glue this time just um, I think it's called contact adhesive or general purpose adhesive which takes a lot longer to use because you have to wait for it to dry in between times not like the hot glue but there we go job done